Welcome back, it is Thursday and that means acting analysis fighting meters, that's right. And today I'm going to take a look at the movie Us. There's a lot to unpack in this movie and there are many, many fantastic analysis pieces online. So I'm not going to go into the whole story and themes behind it. These are more clips and the moments that you might be able to apply to your animation shots. So let's check them out. First one right here I thought was interesting in terms of adding a character introduction or a button or something interesting towards the end. So as the characters hear something, right, and in this case it's the honking of the boat outside, so you can have something where you have foreground, kind of a mid, they're kind of almost in the same plane here, but it's an interesting turn of I want to show this, I want to show this. Now you think this is done, but no, you can have one more thing where this character pops up. And this could be right at the end of the scene. This could be something where the character comes up and the character says something, right? This could be all silence and then that's your pantomime. And again, this might be helpful to you if you stage it like this where it's in focus and blurry. So your lip sync doesn't have to be super accurate, but you still want to practice the body language and facial tics and head accents for lip sync. I thought this could be an interesting way of kind of an intro to lip sync if you want to. But I thought this as a contrasting move was very interesting. And speaking of character intro, you have this here where she's looking for a kid. And again, you can look at this in so many ways where this is your, your sitting character, this is your stand-up assignment. So the character gets up and this would be the overlying thing of worry all the way to panic potentially, right? So you have just your mechanical aspect of a shot, but you can add something to it, right? There's the, the frightening aspect of I'm losing my kid, where is my kid? And that could be your shot. At the same time, you can go into this. And I always like that stuff. I like when you have two ways of showing off your skills. One is full body mechanics, and we've seen this. And now after this, boom, close up was very short. Close up of a character where that character can react to the character that's now off screen. It can be its own thing. This could be pantomime body mechanics, and then you get into lip sync. So you want to show off lip sync without worrying about the body. There are many, many ways how you can use this. But again, I thought a very cool moment that could be applied to your animation shots. Now, speaking of end and end button, this could be something where your character is done and this would be it. The mother says, go to bed and she says, okay. And again, your shot could end like this or you add one more thing and this could be, I mean, this is just kind of visually with this. We know she's back on their phone, even though she said, turn off your phone. And this could be something that's a bit broader. Maybe you can use it with sound or maybe that is moving because the character is playing video games. It's a bit more exaggerated, but it's something again, interesting where your scene doesn't have to end because the lip sync is done. You can add one more thing to give one more insight into who this character is, if they obey or disobey or do something else. Now, this is not really something you can apply to your shot, but I did want to show it just because the complexity of this, of this movie is so awesome. I love how before she tells the story, she has that specific move with her leg. It's almost like a ballet move. Why? because we know she took ballet lessons. She's done that before. It's just an interesting moment of something that's from the past that's still part of her and kind of influences her movements. Anyway, again, it's tricky to pull off in one shot on your reel, but I just wanted to point that out. If you haven't seen this movie, this movie is full of awesome stuff like that. But going back to something that's potentially more useful in your shots, if you have this, not that you have to do this with the character exits, but again, it's one of those things when you know this, if you watch my clips, I love stuff like that, where you have an environment, it could be a prop, where the character uses that as a surprise intro, right? What I like about this is you got that one, two, so you got two different characters. But what I like about this too is that now, as he says his line, as we're seeing what's going on here, spoiler, you can see what she does, right? He goes, mm, this is some something, something, I'm gonna say it here. And I love her reaction, like, what did he just say? And it's just a cool moment again of, technically, this is your lip sync, that's all you're gonna do. But what if you do have a second character? How is that second character going to react to this? Because again, your characters need to listen to each other. And this is just a great moment of, wait, did he just say this? What? Uh, and it's a great moment to end this. And it's also nicely staged again, where he moves, I mean, he moves, he says his line, but then stops. So that gives us just enough direction to look at her. He doesn't flail around, run around, so we miss this moment. So it's in terms of leading the audience. It's not, I mean, it's not huge. It's not like he points to her and leads to her face. But I thought it's very, very clear in terms of where to look, especially if you have audio. But it's a cool moment that I could see in the shot that you would do if you have a one character and cool too. Because of this, right? Because you're 
having uh, because having this 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 prop, uh, this piece of whatever, this vehicle here or whatever set piece. Yeah, this could be a wall. This could be a couple of trees over this. It also gives you it's the opportunity to not animate the whole body, right? You can still do something where you show an offset here and the kind of a, a weight difference, right? A lean is a bit different than just standing there. Two characters and lip sync and reaction without really having to deal with the whole body and the hips and the legs and weight shifts. I think, again, having a set gives you the freedom to kind of change things around to kind of just focus on what you want to focus here, being the lip sync and the reaction of the other character. There we go. Little bits and pieces of that movie that hopefully could be helpful to your shots. Maybe it's a, a springboard of ideas, but generally that movie, there's so much more to it. I highly recommend that you watch it. If you have and you got some thoughts about it, comments are open. Let me know if you have any thoughts about that movie. But that's it. And again, if you think that this is cool and helpful, and you want to apply this to your own shots, why not? I have a workshop, link in the description. We can work together on your shots. You can sign up at any time. Now, if you're still watching this, of course, thank you so much for watching this. You can like and subscribe if you want to. If you do subscribe, hit that bell button and hit the notifications, whatever all those options are, because you do want to get notified about all my uploads. I mean, only if you do want to get notified, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But if you want to subscribe and you hit that bell button, there's this option. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. If you're still watching this, you're way too patient. I will see you next week for another movie or TV show.